Okay, so we did the I modified the fixture and, uh, and I went ahead and put the uh, the hand wheel into the fixture and uh, you can kind of see here uh, how it fits and these cast iron fractures is kind of uh, uh, they're almost like gear teeth they fit together uh, incredibly well even though um, the thing was uh, dropped on these so some of these you can uh, let's see where's that one uh, this one here for example I can barely feel that that's how well that fracture fits back together now I have to go back in there and V that uh, so I can get a, a decent weld in there so uh, the thing doesn't fall apart on me when I, when I use it. If you think about how a hand wheel works, it's not under any huge load, so, uh, but it's certainly not made for the machine to, uh, uh, for a forklift to bang up against it or something like that. It's just not made for that. But for me cranking it or whatever, uh, you know, a wooden hand wheel would even work. So, uh, but, uh, we're, so we're going to fix these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm kind of gouging these and uh, to, to open them up so um, uh, they can be welded properly. Okay, so I'm going to get my, my grinding gear going here. <clears throat> so this is just a uh, uh, Walter Abrasive's uh, uh, zip disc. These things are awesome. Um, they last forever. Uh, well, not forever, but uh, they last a long time compared to the cheap ones. So I'm always in favor of buying uh, premium abrasives. Don't mess around with cheap stuff. Doesn't uh, doesn't pay you back. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put some hearing protection on here. Uh, you <laughs> you guys won't need me. Uh, just turn down the volume. And uh, so let's do that one first. enough so you can see this thing. That's what I just did right there. That little gouge. And that's all I really need. And I'll tack it there and then um, get the thing kind of uh, self-supporting and, uh, and then I'll work my way all the way around that crack to, uh, um, to weld it all up all the way around. And if you get it nice and warm and uh, um, it's uh, and you let it cool off slowly, uh, this particular nickel rod uh, tends not to crack, uh, even with cast iron. So um, you get a pretty good strong weld. So I'm gonna go ahead and gouge a few more of these. Um, I'll turn the video off. You don't need to watch people grind. Uh, it's pretty boring, and you're not gonna be able to see much anyway. So I'll get this prepped. And then, uh, uh, then I'll turn it back on and we'll uh, do a little uh, cast iron welding, okay? So, 